Now, the Speaker of Parliament is yet to decide the meeting place for members of Parliament following his recall of the House from recess. The Speaker recalled Parliament for an emergency meeting on September 3 after Majority Leader Alexander Penyomakin petitioned him to reassemble Parliament to facilitate discussions on critical government business. However, in his communication, the Speaker cited ongoing renovation works in the Parliamentary Chamber and other significant logistical challenges in finding a suitable venue for the urgent meeting. I was in Parliament and filed this report. The Speaker's decision to adjourn on July 30 was heavily criticized by some members of the Majority Caucus. Two days after the House adjourned, Majority Leader Alexander Fenyomakin petitioned the Speaker to convene an emergency meeting pursuant to Article 112 of the Constitution. Following the petition, the Speaker recalled the House to convene on September 3 but cited venue and logistical constraints as the Parliamentary Chamber is undergoing renovation. During an inspection of the renovation works, the Speaker said he was yet to find a suitable venue for the September 3 meeting. It's possible I can determine that we will sit under a tree and uh, they have to sit there. Uh, I can also determine that we can go to sit in Bolga and that one too they have to or we will go to Axim or we can go to Hohoi or any place and they have to comply. Was it is an, uh, it's something like extraordinary meeting. There is some extraordinary matter that has cropped up that necessitates Parliament to come and attend to it. And the determining factor is that of the national interest. And that is what you look at. If it is part of the normal business that could be transacted during the course of the scheduled meetings of the House, then it has to be done during that period. And that is why after you do the recall, now the speaker will now determine whether the business that the House has been recalled to be transacted is extraordinary. The speaker also advised the members of Parliament against the abuse of Article 1123 of the Constitution. It's in the interest of parties in government to protect this. If not, the parties in opposition from um, on a weekly basis, they could be requesting for parliament to be recalled. And you have to have a foresight. You have to look at all this when you are taking your decisions. It cannot be right today and tomorrow is wrong. And so when you are doing the request, you have to think about it, not just because you are in government, but you will also be in opposition. The Parliamentary Chamber is undergoing a 2.26 million euro refitting, which is scheduled to be completed by the end of October as part of the e-Parliament project to digitize parliamentary business. Speaker Bagwin provided some details of the project. All the systems are put there, 2.26, 2.26 million euro. And this is not funded by any uh, facility that we have approved. No, this is funded by government of Ghana. The speaker has explained that the renovation works ongoing here is necessary to digitize the records of parliaments and to provide a more efficient um, parliament. He has also explained that this was not a unilateral decision but a collective one on the part of leadership of parliament. It is now incumbent on the speaker to find a suitable place for that September 3 sitting because this is not scheduled to complete until close of October. For Channel 1 News, my name is Charles Osukumi from Parliament House here in Accra.